We are just about to head to the oldest wine region in the world, but before we do, I wanted to quickly take the opportunity to talk to you about this month's Sky Cinema Club movies. As an ongoing partnership with Sky Cinema, this month we have a few films to note. I sat down earlier to watch Knock at the Cabin. Now for Sky Cinema customers, this is already available to watch. The film is set in a remote cabin situated in a woodland and a young girl and her parents are taken hostage by four strangers whilst on location. Apologies for the scratching, that's a little porter down here having a good old scratch. <laughs> now the family are presented with an unthinkable request to prevent an alleged apocalypse. The film reflects on the family's past to really build a narrative around the inner relationships, the compassion, the love, the empathy that they have for one another. The film raises the question though, are we witnessing a moment of delusional thinking shared by a group of individuals or is this a spiritual advantage to save humanity? The sins of humanity mean sacrifice and working against the clock as the events unfold, we wait to see how the storyline plays out. The four individuals that shared the same vision of the world's end do their best to convince the family to act in trust, but at a cost that leaves us unsure of the outcome. If you would like to see the trailer for this horror film, then as always, make sure you check out the link in my description box down below. Also, this month on Sky Cinema, we have two more films to note. First up is a Sky original called God is a Bullet. It's available from the 22nd of September. And the second film is Marcel the Shell with the Shoes On, which will be available from the 23rd of September. Pop-ups on Sky this month will include Antiheroes, which will feature films like Black Adam, Pulp Fiction and Batman. There's plenty happening on Sky Cinema right now, so let me know what you've been enjoying. As the nights are closing in and it's getting darker and darker, I'm spending more and more time in front of the TV, which is lovely. I love this time of year. We put the fire on, we cozy up and settle down. It's a really nice way to spend the evening. And so your recommendations for films to watch on Sky are always welcome. <laughs> We're currently here with Red Breast Whiskey and we're staying in Fidego Palace. Now the reason why we're here is because I believe we're going to find out tomorrow that Red Breast, who are an Irish whiskey company, are aging their whiskey in port barrels. So today we're going to be learning more about the brand. We're going to be going on a picnic, a small hike, and then this evening we have a wonderful dinner here at the hotel in the cellar. And then tomorrow we have a fantastic day. We've got a very early start. I think it's about 5.30 a.m. We're gonna be doing a hot air balloon across the valleys, which just sounds absolutely magical, as well as a boat ride and another lovely dinner, which I believe is where we're going to find out about a new whiskey, but it is all to be discovered. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to head down now for breakfast. Um, my outfit today is quite casual, quite relaxed. I've gone for a linen set. This is a linen shirt from Canali. To add a little bit of detail and intrigue around the neck, I've gone for this red neckerchief or neckerchief by Anderson and Shepherd. I've just held it together using a ring. And then my vest is from David Gandhi's brand Wellwear. My Tom Sweeney leather woven belt. My all-time favourite Laura Piana City Two Pinces trousers. And then. I've got my loafers on from Suit Supply, slightly battered. They've uh, done very well over the last year or two. And so I don't mind if these get a little bit battered in today's walk because they are already stained and scuffed. And so they felt like the suitable shoes of choice. I'm also wearing a Tiger Stone ring by Rahul Patel collection. And I'm gonna take some sunglasses from a company called Salt. So, that's my look complete. I'm gonna head down and get some breakfast and we're going to enjoy our stay here. I mean, that is one hell of a staircase. Wow, <laughs> what a hotel. We've just caught a coach over to which is currently the border of the Duro Valley and we're currently standing in front of a ancient palace and it looks absolutely unreal. Let me spin the camera around. How nice is that? 
this is our method of transport today. We're going to be jumping into the Jeeps and we're going to be taking a little drive into the valley. Look at this setting. Unreal. James and Damien. Welcome to the vlog, Damien. Welcome vlog family. How are we? Good to see you. For anyone that doesn't know Damien, he's a fashion creator and I do my best. You are. How would you describe your style? Like a classic menswear. With a twist. With a twist. With a twist. With a bit of fun. With yeah, with a, a garnish. With a, oh, <laughs> with a I garnish. Like I'll yeah. give you some respect for that one. <laughs> with a garnish. And so yeah, we're going to uh, jump into the wagon now and um, get exploring. <laughs> Video cameras, adding the transporter is a, is a nice one too, 4x4. Four four. There is lots of vineyards around here. That looks absolutely spectacular. Wow. Well, we've just found out that we're going to be taking the Defender off-road, which we weren't expecting today, but we've been told we're in safe hands. It's starting to get a little bit bumpier. The gradient is getting a little bit steeper. Uh, with Damien, so I'm feeling comfortable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> you can break. You can break, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Well, one thing we're learning as we're driving through the vineyards is how difficult it must be to actually farm the land here. We've got some super tight roads, it's obviously very steep, but it's all worth it for the port. And another thing that we just found out as well, that you actually can't irrigate the vines, otherwise it can't be called port. So they have to allow for the natural process of the rain and the drainage to completely play out which obviously has a slight risk element to it with the inconsistency of weather but that's uh, nature doing its thing so yeah it's really nice to see how they uh, how they must be farming these they use little tractors to come and collect the grapes to take them away and trucks the Bedford trucks and uh, most of it is hand-picked because you obviously can't access this using machines so yeah very fascinating and you can see just from this video how tight the roads are as we're working our way through is that they're using drywall stone as well to hold the land back to create that layered effect to give them some space to work with it's a bit risky over there Damien you know like right on the cliff edge yeah about two feet <laughs> yeah <laughs> I can get a little bit more for the edge. No, no we're okay, no? thank you, okay. mate. You can, you can stay in. Yeah. No we're here for whiskey, not risky. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> these are, doesn't look like but these are stairs. These are stairs? These kind of stairs. Oh, from, interesting. From, okay. From, uh, yeah. From, uh, so they get from level to level yes. using those? Yes. And you'll have another one here. Yeah. Wow. That's quite interesting. We have lots of fit farmers here. Yeah. <laughs> On the way. Sometimes they don't, don't look so. They have a huge belly. Yeah. Belly. Yeah. But believe me, believe me, when you see Wrong. them work, if you go work with them, they'll outwork you. After half an hour, you're yeah. tired and yeah. they continue Carry on. work for 10 hours. Amazing. Without stop, and I just take care of it. Let's see Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We just stopped for some lunch, there's one under the trees. This what the doctor ordered. Oh, there's no one here. Chago. 
Yes. These are definitely locally sourced. You think? I hope so. Couscous? Go on in. Be rude not to. Well, following on from lunch, we are just going to try the single pot still Irish whiskey, which is aged for 12 years. And uh, we've just got a little glass waiting, so we'll give that a try. And uh, then we'll start heading off for the next activity of the day. Yeah, beautiful colours and tones. The reason why we're in the Iberian Peninsula, you know, in the beautiful heart of Portugal and the Douro, is to talk about the relationships that help forge the red breast signature style. So when Billy mentioned about sherry barrels, it's the relationship we have with the sherry bodega, the family who make the barrels. And that'll become apparent as well with, you know, the expressions we'll go through tomorrow as well. Um, I was talking to Ian on the bus earlier, and while, you know, sherry was in Spain such a huge drink, it isn't anymore. So it's not like that there's barrels in the open market that we just buy and fill with whiskey. We get these barrels made bespoke for us. They're then aged with wine for us and that helps dictate and create the flavour that goes into Redbreast and with you know the Douro Valley with Ruby Port that goes into Redbreast 27. So it's all about building relationships that help create an Irish whisky that's known around the world but has influences from around the world. Just for now enjoy it and we'll talk all things about Redbreast for the, for the next few days so it's well, thank Cheers. You. Well, I've just found this really nice viewpoint over the valley and this is actually one of the largest man-made landscapes in the world you can see how much work has gone into creating all of the layers it's just a really lovely view of the river of all the vineyards surrounding it and very few properties as well actually In the year is We're just cruising along the waterside. Anything else to the side? We thought about it for a second. See this? That was nearly your feet. Almost. He knows what he's doing now. <laughs> got 360 vision. Look at hell. Yeah. Do you think this rise is there? I believe we're going to be going out on one of these boats. These were traditionally used to move the barrels or the casks up and down the river in the mid 1900s and before I'm sure. Looks lovely out there doesn't it? We would like to welcome you aboard. During this tour, along the historic waters of the River Douro, we will treat you to some unforgettable views and some fascinating stories about the river. I've just finished off getting ready for this evening's dinner where we're going to be discovering more about Redbreast and also have a chat with the guys that are the noses behind Redbreast whiskey. And so it should be a fascinating evening. As you can see, I've gone for an all white linen suit, feeling very brave. I've teamed it up with a navy t-shirt from Wellwear, which is David Gandhi's new brand. Also, this little neckerchief by Anderson and Shepherd. I've actually gone for the Cartier Santos with the blue face. I felt like it worked really nicely with the t-shirt. Also on the feet, if you can see, I've gone for my Crockett Jones Boston loafers with some burgundy socks from Temple Nassa. So I'm feeling very good. We're gonna head down now and go for a pre-dinner drink with the Redbreast team and then enjoy some food and the evening ahead. Well, we've just come downstairs to the front of the hotel and I thought I would share it with you because it's absolutely stunning out here. So, water fountain driveway. That's the kind of roundabout that you want at the house, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully, if you spin around now, you'll get a feel for the place. And it's got such a nice colour. I love that. Integration of the stone is quite, quite a kind of grey stone, isn't it? But it works so nicely with that kind of salmon pink. There 
very big this place, as you can see. How many rooms do you think it's got? It's got 500, more, 1,000. But we're ready to go and meet the rest of the guys for some drinks, so let's get going. This morning we're going to be taken off in a hot air balloon and we're actually going to be taken off from an astro pitch which is situated in the middle of a town and we're just going to catch sunrise. It actually looks a lot brighter here than it is because we're floodlit but it is actually, um, what time is it? Quarter past six so still very early. Look at these two ice skating across the Astro. <laughs> Well, the second balloon's just landed in the field next to us. The lads are just pulling back our balloon. Just trying to allow the fabric to lay down on this field. Landed in quite a tight spot. We've got power lines just running along here. And then we had a olive field just to our left. Quite the operation. Everybody's just walking their way back to the car. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to go and grab a coffee. What a lovely way to start the day. Well, we've just arrived for lunch. This lovely little spot. I'm just moving on to the terrace. God, it's so beautiful here. Well, we have actually just wandered into 
It feels just like a beautiful home. I need to get some information on this place. Very romantic. But in winter, it's dark very early. So people on, on the Sundays afternoon, people know, family visit and people also. Visit, for example, my cousins, my uncles come here and meet me. And after lunch, I prepare the dough and it rises. Around five, I make this bola, I make this bread and we eat it with a good wine or a cup of tea and no dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so this is an idea you can take home. Yeah. Oh, look at Maria. Now, stretch, 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 stretch. Okay, and I'll cover this. Proper brand in the custard. That's a new dish on campus. Oh, beautiful. Come and see Paula. Tsunami is beautiful. Hello. Nice. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Here I would like to introduce you this man. He was a very brave man. You can see what he win. Look at all these medals. His name is Manuel. In Portugal, almost all women are Maria. And I'm Maria, and I said, I'm Maria. Maria with uh, many, many, many names. But after the revolution, only Maria. I never say, only after COVID and the experience of cookings, I remember, okay, I'm Countess and Viscountess, because before, never think about it. I'm Maria Manuel, and this brave man fight against Napoleon during the Napoleon invasion. And he was so brave, with uh, not many so soldiers and munitions, stopped Napoleon invasion in Amarante, an historical beautiful city near Porto. And Maria, I had my own battle, 27 years trying to be happy and trying to be mum, and I win that, Antonio and Pedro. Aww. Aww. You can see blonde, one blue eyes, the other green eyes, like father. Mother is not so beautiful, but is a good girl. <laughs> so let's go, please. The floor, the ceiling, and even the table. My family sent me the table. Do you like my table? I prepare me love for you because in life I always think pink. <laughs> And you should also think pink. I hate gray. I never buy anything gray. Color in my life. Tired to be sad. No more sad. Happy Maria and happy friends of Maria. You are going to stay have friends of Maria. So, after we cook, we eat here. Wonderful. Over Maria now. Nice tablecloth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the lady taking us around is called Maria, if you hadn't already picked up. She's the Countess. She made her wealth with a, with a clothing company called Beautiful by Maria. She has multiple stores in Portugal and I believe in Spain. And she's an absolute ball of energy. She had twins at the age of 50, 27. There's no way that she's that old. Yes. Oh. Hey.
Mais alto! That's lovely. You sing to them. Eu adoro a Vindima, não é cheque Vindima, Vindima, não mais costelas. Olha que lá fui arranjar. Yes! <laughs> Later, if you want, we can go there. Yeah, so they, what, one month, ten days to harvest? Right, one month and ten days. Wow. wow. And they're happy doing it. Yes. The pool, salt water pool there. Yeah. And different small houses with the rooms. And, um, and love of Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live there. Well, yeah. you want to live, stay with me. Yeah. <laughs> and we are going to cook inside the old kitchen. That is... You can take also. Um, so green soup, special bread like pizza, like calzone. It's a special dough, very crispy, and we put inside the ingredients that I'm going to, to introduce to you. Like my family, they work here. Margarita, from Nepal. Margarita, I call her Tsunami, because she's more stressed than Maria. <laughs> <laughs> this Maria works here since she's 12, came from school and began cooking in this, in this kitchen. Because this kitchen that you are going to visit, no, to visit, no, to use, cooks lots of food every day for the employees, no tractors, only cows and horses, and for the poor people. Because my grandmother was one of the richest women in Portugal and wrote before dying, very early. Obrigado. Please cook bread, corn bread. We have lots of fun with bread, with corn. Cook the corn and make soup for the poor. And I remember when I was five, six, here, every day, all people taking food home. Nowadays, we are here celebrating life, cooking good things, and then eat them. Fill this as thin as you can, with two hands, thin, 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 and no holes. This, come on, who wants to make your bread? Here. Later, when this is filled, we put some ingredients. I'm going to finish this, in order you see. So, thin, thin, thin. No holes, please. And after that, we go here, here we have the ingredients. Look, tuna and onion, mozzarella, fresh tomatoes from Green Garden, from Maria, cheese, bacon. No, poor children, they are tired. No, no. Make them we, get them at five o'clock. They're just shy. I'm yeah. the mum. Yeah. You, you tell them what to do. I'm going to go hungry. I knew it. He's here. Here we have. Here, go and see. Potato, bacon, and chorizo. Do you know the name of this? So basically just one bread. Um, I think we're making some kind of Portuguese pastry. I'm not certain sure, but we're going to be layering up dough. We also have some ingredients to do that. We're going to put in asparagus, a lot of tuna, ham, mozzarella, cheese, cheddar, some sort of pepperoni. So I think we're going to go for mozzarella. These are asparagus, which I might actually go for, so it's not too cheesy. Magic word here in this kitchen is olive oil. Make rain with olive oil. Make rain, baby. So don't treat us like a pizza, I think. Come on, go. And then you're just going to lie it down. That's clever. I really wish I could. First, make it rain or, the, or dress it? Make rain. Okay. Make <laughs> Where is the olive oil? Don't let me stand in your way. Anybody free to help Maria with the custard? Yep, I'm free. The dessert? 
Ooh, lovely, thank you. They look great. First bread's in. Let's have a look, Willie. Ooh, there you go. That looks naughty. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. One ready. Okay, wow. The smiley face. <laughs> that's Damien's, I think. Is it? Yeah, that's smiley that's face. That's my smiley face. On, yeah. This is your one. This is mine. Well does done. It, it does look good. It looks like a catcher. Yeah. Well done. This one's an interesting one. It looks like yeah. a sausage roll. <laughs> well, the bola is coming out, which I believe is the name of the dish. As a historical place here in Portugal, I believe there was an invasion and there was only flour left and so this was the meal of choice. Enjoyed the glass of wine or a cup of tea. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, mom, come next to mom. <laughs> no, no, up, up, always up, always up, man. One, two, three. Say your mullet. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Omelette. Now say goodbye. Well, we've just sat down for a very sophisticated lunch. Got the kids at the bottom <laughs> on our little kiddie table. So it's lovely. Yet again, coming through with the tablecloths. They look very nice. and the chorizo and bacon inside in order to pass the flavor to the water. Enjoy my love! <laughs> it's a beige lunch which is making me feel very content. Just uh, got a little buffet going on at the top. Bon appetit! Cheers! Cheers, Giza! Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that is nice. That's very refreshing. We've commented uh, Ali's vlog. It's now my channel. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we're just leaving this beautiful home. We had the most wonderful afternoon with Maria. She's just got such a positive outlook on life and such a lovely energy, and it was really nice to be around her today. We also, of course, cooked our lunch, which was absolutely delicious. Can't say that we had a huge involvement. We just sort of packaged it together. Um, we didn't create the dough or pick the recipe or anything like that. We just did as we were told, but it all came together very nicely. And of course, we got to discover not a new red breast whiskey, but one of the red breast whiskies that's available. You can get your hands on it called Red Breast PX and it was delicious. It was quite syrupy. It had, I felt like it had a little bit of a toffee flavor to it. I'm not sure if that's one of the actual notes, but it almost like was a nod to a dessert wine. Thoroughly enjoyed having that as a dessert, but we're just about to head back to the hotel to get a little bit of downtime and get ready for this evening, which is the launch event. fantastic day as you can see I'm back in the room freshened up ready for what is set to be a fantastic evening this is the official launch event for the latest red breast whiskey that we're yet to discover and so at the end of this video we'll be finding out exactly what that is but I'm going for a very simple two-piece linen suit this evening I actually did a get ready with me with Damien 
um, which was good fun so we did it in his very traditional style but I thought just before I head down I would quickly show you what I was dropped off in my room this is the red breast whiskey family collection um, it's the single pot still so we have the 12 year the 15 year and the style and so Something that I quickly picked up when I was reading the back of this. The Robin Redbreast is the only bird which sings continuously throughout the dark Irish winters and is one of the very few small birds that chooses to winter in Ireland. It is this enduring spirit which inspires its namesake, Redbreast Irish Whiskey. I thought that was a very lovely story, but there's going to be a brand new Redbreast Whiskey coming out this evening and so we're gonna find out all about it. My assumption is we're in Portugal. There may be something linked in port casks, but we yet to find out. Dinner this evening is actually in a cellar. I know I said that last night, it wasn't actually in a cellar, but tonight it definitely is. So I'm gonna go downstairs, we're gonna make our way to this evening's destination. Well, the weather has taken a unforeseen turn and we've got thunder and lightning outside. You probably hear the rain. We just arrived to a port house and as you can see, we've got huge containers that are full of grapes and lots of people that have very red legs because they've been treading them in and squishing them and working down the flavors you can see they're in there now that's incredible will fancy it mate apparently we're gonna have a go <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, that's it we're going i'm in, not mate. i'm not doing it right we're going down well, welcome to our dinner location this evening. Oh my god, it looks incredible! Wow! to tell very tired slightly red eyes it was a fantastic evening discovering tasting and hearing more about Redbreast's latest whiskey as part of their Iberian collection they have used tawny port casks to flavor the whiskey which they have to leave for over two years and it was absolutely delicious a little bit spicy but lots of flavor we actually got to try some of the tawny port as well in the winery that were in this evening and it was delicious and I'm not really a big port man um, but I discovered and learned a little bit more about port this evening as well which was fantastic. It was a good evening, I'm very tired and uh, as always I'll leave all of the relevant links in the description box down below. If you do want to go and check out Red Breast Whiskey and their incredible collection of whiskies then I would suggest that you go and check out their website i'll leave a link in the description box down below a big thank you to the red breast team for hosting me it's been a lovely stay here in portugal but i'll be seeing you next wednesday at 5 p.m take care